Hi everybody! Hi! This is Azo. And this is Ildi. And we are Zodiac. Da, da, da. Anyway, so this is just a K-pop duo name, but obviously we're friends and K-pop friends. And you guys, if you've watched this channel, you know that we have a bunch of amazing K-pop friends. But Zozo is very special for many reasons. One of them being that she just knows everything there is to know about this lovely woman that who we're just about to watch, Taeyeon. Ah! Take it away, Zozo. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This weekend we've gotten together and we're like prepping for MCM yeah. and Comic Con guys in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, my see. absolute obsession with Taeyeon just is not dying. Mm. <laughs> and I don't think it ever will. And like for me, I love Girls' Generation, but Taeyeon is like, everybody has like a personal idol, mm -hmm. don't they? Like yeah. somebody who like really sat, and it could be like a family member or like a, a movie star, like a sportsman. For me, like, my absolute idol, someone that I I turn to in moments that I'm not feeling so good is Taeyeon. Mm. Because she just has such a complex story. Like, you know, she seems so dorky and lovely and uh, sparkly off camera or when she's vlogging. And then she comes on stage and we were saying she just has this utter sadness about... She's she amazing sincere. when she's performing, amazing when she's performing, but you can see that there's so much emotion in her face and she's telling her story through music and it's like she reveals her heart and her soul to us when, when she's singing. Mm -hmm. And I think there's something incredibly clever and beautiful about that. And we're going to watch Taeyeon's Eye, which was her debut, solo debut. Really? Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. And she actually um, mentioned in a vlog that she's been preparing this for years. Hmm. And it was one of the first times that she felt like truly nervous about going on stage. Like, before she went on stage, she was like, oh, my eyes are going red. Hmm. Like, she was really nervous. And I felt like this really encapsulated everything she wanted to say to the world at this point in time and kind of revealed to us the kind of music she wanted to make and it's kind of like it was shocking to me this also came out at a time when i just started my career and it was incredibly difficult and adulthood was not what i thought it was going to be and so this is all about her kind of like like you're gonna be fine like you know spread your wings and fly life's beautiful like you know it's kind of like a pep talk to herself and like in the music video you'll see like <coughs> she breaks away from this like perception that she should be a certain something and she goes and like she's free and it just for me like I, I cried my eyes out when I watched this mm. music video for the first time because I just identified with it so much and I was like wow this is really raw. Mm. So yeah I we, this is like not to be missed like if we're going to watch some of her newer stuff. And you see how much she's grown. Like, you, you have to see this. Okay, fair to be wild. <laughs> I mean, how stunning is she already? Like, I love this look on her. I love it so much. Peter Sullen Sky. Time she introduced this kind of music to us. Mm. 
What is the other fourteen consignments that she has here? I can see why you were into this one. Absolutely. Oh, she's so sorry. It's insane, I just can't lie. And I love these lamps a lot. It's like, I need to figure out the location. It's so cool. I'm going to go to the next one. drive in the car and do that. I don't have a license, but... Yeah, like, this is where, like, the ethereal kind of, like, Taeyong started to happen. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I know. Ah, okay. She's meeting herself there. Yeah, okay. and that's why it's so beautiful. Okay, that is cool. That is very cool. So cool. Okay, that that's won me over at the end. That's because, so good. Oh, oh. That's won me over at the end. Because, like, story-wise, it was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be, like, a beautiful story or whatever. And, like, I have to be honest. Like, till the, till about, like, till the very end, I was like, so far, the story is kind of predictable. Yeah. So it's kind of like, okay, okay, so... She's going to, like, quit a job and, like, yeah, the quit a job and, like, to I'm going like, like, to put it on table and always then... And, and, you know, it's just kind of like, this is just a personal thing, but it's always kind of, you know, just because I'm insecure, insecure in my own, like, you know, appearance. So every time when I see somebody who's beautiful and in my eyes seems to have everything already you know and then like because and she's gonna quit and become even more beautiful you yeah what I mean? so it's yeah like, wow so now you've been, super you've been beautiful you drive been a really expensive car <laughs> yeah yeah like you've been you've been gorgeous all the way but now you're gonna be even more angelic and i was like yeah mm. so like kind of like the you know the the ugly duckling story doesn't work with these with these ethereal figures. I mean, she's just like but the I, end. It was really beautiful. See, really like, beautiful. She's yeah. just so beautiful. Like, and just the shots of her, like they're just so effortless. And her makeup, like her, I think this was the first time that I looked at Taeyong's makeup and thought, "Wow, like they've really, really done something here." That's a completely. She looks completely different to how she does in SNSD. And it's important when you are like, isn't it interesting that like she took on like a different 
She it took was, another persona I like she's she not like you don't herself. look and think, oh this is girls' generation's Tae on. Like, no, this is Tae on. Like, this is Tae on and, and she's totally separate at this point. Yeah, I can see why like Tiffany gets really emotional like during her debut, like watching this and things. Like it's very raw. I think it's very relatable. Yeah. To like people who are also going through the same thing, like hence why I'm like I tear up every time I watch it. I don't watch this music video a lot, <laughs> and that's because it's the hair bit where she like lets her hair down and she's like, "I'm gonna be me." Like, I, like who cares about what anyone else thinks? And I wish like sometimes I wish I had that strength. And it's 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 great to watch like someone like opening up to the world and just like being like this is me like this is who I want to be and like the two meeting at the end is just like she finally gets to meet the person she's wanted to be all these years but here's the thing at the end they merge they do merge. so it's almost like you don't have to say you can say goodbye to your past but you don't have to erase it so it's kind of like that's that that's, is nice I like that because I think like even in the story like the person who she wants to become she can become because she went through everything before mm. she knows what she doesn't want to do, A. B, B, she knows what she has to lose and, like, what she has to win. So it's almost like, I think the past is very important. So, like, that that element of it was just yeah. really beautiful, very poetic and, like, such a creative way. It was, like, a th the, th th five seconds shot and beautifully the got only the message thing, across. The only thing that I would say about this debut is, did we really need verbal gin? Well, I like Verbal Gin. I, li uh, I liked the I rap. Like, like I, I liked the rap a lot. But I think this but is like, two versions, did, isn't it? Did we like, need? Did we need it? I think if 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 the rap was taken out and there was just another Taeon verse, it would have still been just as good. Personally, I like the Verbal Gin part because here's the thing. Even I like the but strong girl. You know, you were born a fly. Like, like that for me is like yeah. Like, but like the thing is, like with Korean rap, like it always takes me a bit longer to get it, obviously, because it needs a very good translation to kind of get all those, you know, like inside jokes within the language and like yeah. all those little parts across. But when I got it, when I get it, and that's why I have faith in like even these lyrics, even if I don't know them just yet. They are the beautiful, they are, most they beautiful are Probably going to be absolutely gorgeous. So mm. I like, I like this, and, and for me, the juxtaposition of a, of such a, like strong female voice which has the feminine aspect to it it's always good to hear like she's a, just a, got a, such like a, a male voice a male voice next to it which kind of gives a different element to the mm. story actually you're so, like so i think right. for, so for me this juxtaposition really works mm. if you think about text painting within music you would have like the low notes of somebody's yeah, like that's talking true. Rap and absolutely everything. true and then you would have the soaring high notes having an even stronger effect due to that change so, I yeah. think you're right. Yeah, you've won me over with that. Did I? Well, thank you. I I don't know if like that late. It's already like. <clears throat> How are we still having these conversations at twenty past twelve at night? I don't know, but it must be the K-pop and must be the music that inspires us, us going, to have such sophisticated conversations. Like so, yeah, that was Taeyeon's journey, and since then, she has just slayed, 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 slayed. Yeah, I think absolutely. I don't think there's any song that's come out that, that I'm like, oh, this is the same as her last one. Or like, I'm like, mm, I'm not so sure about this. Like, they've all been totally different. I think that's one thing that we mentioned even in one of the first ever videos that we did on this channel. When, like, we introduced you to somebody, we were watching some channel wise or something. And, like, we said, like, oh, here's Ozo, and, and she's a massive fan of Taeyeon. And, like, somebody said, who doesn't like Taeyeon? I think, isn't it? Like, Taeyeon is, like... I just think that you doesn't. can't not like her. Like, it's very are, I mean, especially if you see her, like, in variety shows. She's so professional. And, and she's such a nice person. Like, you can just tell, like, when you watch her, she's very genuine... You can tell that she's not in it for the fame. You can tell that she's not in it to be a K-pop idol. She just loves singing and just loves making music. And I don't know, I think that's very like genuine, really. And probably that's one of the many reasons why she had such a long-lasting career. Mm. That uh, that like that genuine, sincere attitude, just like in her music, it also comes across in her personality. Yeah, absolutely. And the people get to, got to see that. And uh, it's this is what keeps people... On her side, just like a lovely Tozo, a faithful fan. 
guys thank you very much for watching and we're gonna watch some more tales <gasps> yeah and see you very soon bye